another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Give the 
better say it right now Cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down And these memories are playing like a film without sound And I keep thinking of that night in June I didn't know much of love, but it came too soon And it was me and you, and then we got real blue Stay at home, talking on the telephone And we would get so excited and we'd get so scared Laughing at ourselves, thinking life's not fair
Harrison High School's Class of 2021 Commencement Ceremony. And that was quite the processional. So an applause for our graduates. You made it to your seats, so yay. <laughs> Thank you to our Harrison High School Band under the direction of Mrs. Deanna Loischer and our Harrison High School Orchestra under the direction of Mr. Thomas Bestone for that remarkable rendition of Pomp and Circumstance. Welcome to the parents, siblings, grandparents, and additional family members and friends of the class of 2021. Along with our Board of Education, Dr. Wool, District Administration, and the faculty, staff, and administration of Harrison High School, who have joined us today in person or are watching the live stream from home as we celebrate this milestone moment with our soon-to-be graduates. And graduates, you may be seated. High school graduation is not just the culmination of the last four years, but the culmination of our students' entire K through 12 school experience. So I want to especially recognize and welcome those in attendance or watching from home that comprise the faculty, staff, and administration of our four elementary schools, Harrison Avenue, Parsons, Preston, and Purchase, and the faculty, staff, and administration of Lewis M. Klein Middle School. And as the principal of the high school, I am privileged to be the first to welcome our Harrison High School Class of 2021. Before we begin our ceremony, I respectfully ask that all cell phones and other electronic devices be on silent for the duration of the ceremony. In addition, when the time comes, we will be taking photographs of all of the graduates receiving their diplomas so we ask that all attendees remain in their seats. There will also be a photo taken of each graduate right after they have received their diploma off stage. Information for purchase of photos is available in the program. At this time, I would ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and to remain standing after the pledge for the singing of our national anthem as sung by our own Husky Harmonics under the direction of Mrs. Megan Test. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you such as this does not come to fruition without the work of many hands. 
I would like to thank those whose tireless efforts have made everything come together into this memorable moment for our graduating seniors and whose contributions have made not just our commencement ceremony today possible, but the entire school year a reality. Thank you to the Harrison Police Department for their presence and support for tonight's event to run smoothly and for their help with the management of traffic at drop off and pick up throughout the course of this year. A special shout out to our SRO officer Joe Perello. We always knew when you weren't here because of the traffic jam on Union Avenue and in our parking lots. <laughs> Joe would appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you to the high school's PTA and our co-presidents, Meredith McGurk and Diana Vukal. There aren't words to adequately describe the support you have provided this year. Whether it was with lawn signs and balloons to welcome, thank, or congratulate, or the pom-poms for a parade, you were there to recognize and celebrate each moment. When we had the crazy idea of hosting a prom on campus in compliance with every unimaginable rule that was thrown our way, you helped us to creatively plan with decorations and even finance the tent to host it all. And then you helped to replan when Mother Nature decided to throw us another curveball. Our faculty, staff, and building administration, especially me, felt your support well beyond the fabulous food trucks. It was in your kind words that always seemed to come at just the right time. Even when there was nothing you could do, somehow you did. In word and in deed, you truly were our partners. So thank you. In addition to the PTA, we called on the HHS faculty and staff to do the impossible. To our custodial and maintenance crews who kept our school open by measuring out each desk and placing a green dot, creating the one-way hallway markings, putting up desk shields on each of our 1,200 desks, and then taking them down a week later and scraping off the glue of each. You strung white lights for prom, put up and took out countless desks, tables, and chairs throughout the course of the year, including for this ceremony. Thank you. To our security team and Mike Kamensky, while keeping our building safe on a daily basis, you additionally manage the in and out of traffic of our parking lots. No matter the weather, you were out there and making things move, including today. You help us to plan and you still make it work when we tell you the plan has changed and you do it all with a smile behind your mask. Thank you. To our office staff, you managed many working pieces this school year. You survived juggling classroom substitutes when quarantines resulted in over 30 teachers out. In bringing today together, you stepped in to steam robes, cut tickets. You put up with all of us when we weren't so pleasant. To Lorraine Fontana, who does the thankless job of tickets and then had to redo the tickets on Monday when the health department guidance for schools changed. To the main office, B104, guidance and athletic offices, thank you. To our school nurse, who you all probably came to know quite well this year, Lisa Arlotta, who followed up on each and every COVID screen screening report throughout the year, and the support of Terry Pipitone, and somehow managed the impossible and the impossible happened every day. Thank you. To our faculty and support staff, you are forever remembered by the class of 2021 for the roles you played in their lives. You supported them instructionally and you supported them socially and emotionally in a time when there was never more need. You threw everything out the window you knew about how to teach and relearned for the many new environments you found yourself in. You will forever have the gratitude of your students. Thank you. <laughs> to 
to the administrative team I am privileged to work with on a daily basis at the high school, our assistant principals, Lori Griffo and Larry Mastroda, our director of guidance, Kelly Malcheski, and our athletic director, Christopher Galano, and our district directors of each department, your efforts this year to keep our building open and to keep our students learning as you rethought classroom curriculum and co-curriculars, thank you. And a special thank you to Lori Griffo, whose relentless efforts, time, and energy went into creating all of the video for today's ceremony that you watched as you entered. And to Larry Mastroda for his help in organizing not just the high school's graduation, but the graduations for all six schools. Thank you. <laughs> to Mrs. Stephanie Goldman, our Fine and Performance Arts Interim Director and Assistant Principal at Parsons, this year, Stephanie did know what she was getting into after pulling together last year's ceremony in the parking lot of Wegmans, and she still agreed to help with this ceremony along with the moving up ceremonies of the five other schools. Stephanie, on behalf of Harrison High School and all graduating seniors and their families, thank you for making it happen for us again. I also want to thank those who have supported Harrison High School and each of our seniors through our, our entire educational experience in Harrison Schools. Harrison Education Foundation for their financial contributions for the opportunities they create for our students on a daily basis. We brought our students all back together again because of you funding the air purification systems in each of our instructional spaces and offices. We experienced the joy of our hallways filled with the voices of students again because of your generosity, thank you. And I want to recognize our assistant superintendents. To Mr. Michael Greenfield for your approach with teachers and directors to refine the art and craft of teaching in a COVID world. And to Mr. Robert Salerno, you managed to get everything we physically needed to open our building and to bring our kids back. And to Dr. Brian Laidwig, the forever king of COVID, who knows every piece of guidance as it unfolds and was instrumental in the management of quarantines this year. Thank you. <laughs> to the school board and Dr. Wool for their leadership and vision in a time when there were no perfect answers, you maintain true to the district's core values of equity, access, rigor, and adaptability to create opportunities for our students. Even if you did stretch our adaptability further than any of us thought possible or wanted. Thank you. And now class of 2021. This is the first, yes, shout out to them again. <laughs> this is the first time I am seeing you as a full class in 16 months since February 25th of 2020 at your mid-year junior class meeting. And it is the first time I'm seeing many of your faces unmasked in over 15 months. It is also the first in-person welcome I have given to parents, family, and friends in over a year and a half. So it seems only fitting that this year we celebrate your graduation on the beautiful campus of your high school, as the magnitude of what school is and means has taken on a whole new meaning this year. While you have expressed your weariness of living through history, we have been given an invaluable perspective on life from the history we have lived over the last 16 months. We know what it is to be thankful for each small moment and to be thankful for our togetherness. On behalf of you, I have just recognized many different members of our school community at this ceremony because each of you reminds me of gratitude. I have listened to you in classrooms as you said thank you to your teachers at the end of a lesson. I have listened to you as you found joy in your differences and your desire to hear the perspectives of others and share your own. 
I listened to you as you gave back in gratitude to those who helped comprise those small moments of your high school experience. I recently asked you to remember what am I doing each and every day to make Harrison High School a high school I want to attend? And you reminded me of who you are as a class in your gratitude because it is not an event, it is the everyday. A group I, a group I did not recognize is the staff of our cafeteria. Our lunch ladies, as they are finally call, fondly called, joined by the amazing Chef Alfredo. I listened to some of you standing behind me in lunch line on the last day of school as I waited for my sandwich to be pressed by the beloved Pina. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know, Pina Man's our center sandwich salad bar. Pina asked you what she could get you for your lunch and you responded that you had something for her instead. You had something for the fact that she had taken good care of you for the last four years. And you handed her a card with what she later bragged to me as she wept contained a coffee gift card and gas money to go get the coffee. It is not an event. It's the ordinary every day that leads to the extraordinary. In Harrison High School class of 2021, you are extraordinary. You have taught me gratitude. And while you lived in hybrid groups of husky and pride, you were, are, and always will be one. The class of 2021 Harrison High School Huskies. And while you have lived history over the last 16 months, now you have the opportunity to write your history. No that I will always be proud to say I was your principal. Congratulations, class of 2021. I would now like to welcome to the podium from the Harrison Central School District Board of Education, Board Trustee Robert Sullivan. Thank you very much. Good evening, Dr. Wool, Ms. Bukema, faculty, staff, parents, grandparents, family members, and all of you, the Harrison High School class of 2021. I'm honored to congratulate you on behalf of the Harrison Central School District Board of Education and also as a parent. Graduation day is a highlight of the year for the Board of Education. And this is an extra special evening for the board as a record number of our trustees, our board president, Kelly Mangan, Noreen Lucy, Lindy Wolverton, and myself each have a child graduating with a class of 2021. Your journey started in kindergarten 13 years ago. How long ago was that? George Bush's presidency was coming to a close. Barack Obama's first term was just getting underway. The New York Yankees played their last season at the old Yankee Stadium. A new device called the iPhone was taken over the market. And a mask was something you wore only on Halloween. A lot has changed in the world over the last 13 years. And of course, you have changed with it. From nervous but excited kindergartners during those first days at Parsons, Preston, Purchase, and Harrison Avenue schools, to the confident, accomplished, and caring high school seniors of today, you have been transformed as you've learned much about yourself and the world around you. Today marks an important milestone in your education. It is appropriate to pause and celebrate what you have achieved and reflect on where you will go from here as you leave childhood behind and commence towards adulthood. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'd also like to pause for a moment to recognize several groups of people for their care, passion, and dedicated efforts over the past year. First, 
our faculty and staff. Thank you to our teachers and staff for upholding one of the district's core value, adaptability. They adapted at every turn this year to ensure continuity of learning for you under unprecedented conditions. They went the extra mile and beyond. Next are building administrators, including Ms. Cambucama, Ms. Lori Griffo, and Larry Mastrota. They have always been there to help keep your school running and ensure the safety and well-being of our children with humility and grace under constantly changing conditions and requirements. And our district administration, who worked tirelessly on behalf of our children, and in particular, our superintendent, Lou Wool, for his relentless commitment to the Harrison community and our students, and his ability to shepherd us through this past year. He remains steadfast amid a chorus of conflicting views and making decisions based on the evidence and research, and he challenged the bureaucracy when necessary to advocate for the best reasoned choices on behalf of our children. We owe him a huge debt of gratitude. Finally, And finally, to the rest of those who have guided you on this journey, your elementary and middle school teachers, your parents, your families, your community, and also your classmates. Together, they have all helped you prepare for the challenges and opportunities awaiting you as you enter life after high school. Over the past four years, you have embraced the many opportunities and rich offerings in music, theater, clubs, sports, community service projects, and of course academics that help make Harrison High School one of the finest in the country. But your four years here have not exactly gone according to plan. No one could have predicted how everything would change in March 2020, the middle of your junior year. We all entered the foreign world of remote learning, hybrid, virtual, asynchronous lessons, quarantines, social distancing in the midst of a national health emergency. Many important facets of high school life had to be canceled or postponed. It has been a difficult 15 months for everyone, of course, for your teachers, our incredible support staff, our families, our community members, and people around the world. There has been suffering, loss, stress, and frustration, and it has been harder on some of you than on others. Yet, despite the disruptions and constraints, you have made it here. You have persevered. You have showed incredible resilience, spirit, and adaptability, as reflected by your stellar individual and collective achievements at the highest levels in sports, science, debate, the arts, and academics. We are now turning the corner. Last year's graduation was held in a very nice parking lot with guests watching from their cars. Now we are thrilled to be together in this beautiful setting on our very own campus on this spectacular evening. You have all grown remarkably during your time in Harrison schools. We should also note that your district has also been transformed during your tenure here. Our four guiding principles you see behind me were adopted around the time you were born. In this district, we live by them every day, especially the principles of equity and access for all of our students because all means all in Harrison. When you're in elementary school, we became an international baccalaureate school, and we opened the rigorous program to all of our high school students. You have taken advantage, with consistently more than 90% of our juniors and seniors taking at least one IB course, and more than two thirds of our diploma candidates achieving the IB diploma. When you arrived at the high school as freshmen, you encountered a construction zone but thanks to the support of the Harrison community, you've been able to enjoy the benefits of our largest facilities improvement project in decades, including here at the high school, the addition of a new classroom wing with eight new classrooms, expanded music classroom space, a new guidance suite, new sports facilities, and energy efficiency improvements throughout the campus. You leave your school in great shape for the classes that follow you. Whether you're joining the workforce or heading off to college this fall, Harrison has prepared you for this day of commencement to make the most of wherever your path may take you as you explore your individuality, challenge yourself academically, 
seize opportunities that come your way, and push beyond your comfort zone. We are proud of each of you and look forward to celebrating your future achievements. Thank you and congratulations to the Harrison High School class of 2021. Now our senior chorus members, under the direction of Mrs. Megan Tess, will perform our time. This virtual ensemble, along with the music you heard earlier and will hear at the conclusion of this ceremony, are all the product of countless hours of work. Students were first provided with practice tracks to help them learn their parts, given a few weeks to prepare, received feedback, refined their performances prior to recording their parts individually. Mrs. Tess, Mrs. Loisher, and Mr. Bustone then engaged in the laborious process of digitally editing all of the files together, lining up the audio and video, editing and balancing each track to create each virtual performance. A heartfelt thank you to them and to our student performers for making our commencement extra special for our seniors by reimagining how we could have students perform. Enjoy.
part of the ceremony our student speakers I would like to welcome to the podium the first of our student speakers our senior class president Carolyn Alvarado <laughs> Carolyn school counselor mrs. Katzenberg describes Carolyn as a young woman who demonstrates empathy resilience and optimism on a daily basis her connections in school outside of student government include Friends of Rachel and I Am Harrison, two organizations that actively work to welcome and build inclusive community. Carolyn values these goals. A scholar athlete, musician, and an international baccalaureate diploma candidate, Carolyn plans to enroll at NYU in the fall. She aspires to continue to make a difference in the lives of others by pursuing a career as a clinical psychologist or school counselor. Carolyn. Thank you, Ms. Bukema. <laughs> Dear class of 2021, I would like to begin by saying thank you. Thank you to our parents and families, faculty and staff, PTA, administrators, the community, and our graduating class. It's been quite an adventure these past years and the past year alone. And being given roughly three minutes to sum it up is a bit difficult, yet exciting. From Zoom meetings to one-way hallways and wondering if we'd ever be one class again, we were able to make it out together. This past year has shown us how fast life change, can change in a blink of an eye, and how we should never take any moment for granted because that's what life is, moments in time. Whether you've been here since the start or joined the class along the journey, every moment spent together is one to remember. The class of 2021 is quite remarkable. We are a class full of visual artists, performers, scholars, athletes, social butterflies, and everywhere in between. When you look around and you see your classmates within the crowd, you could be sitting next to a friend you've worked on a project with, a teammate that you've played on a sports team with, or maybe your sibling that's been there all along. Regardless of the relationship between you and the people sitting around you, we can acknowledge that we all have the power to make an impact on each other. Each and every one of you has great potential to potential to transform the lives of others for the better. And when you realize how amazing that power is, you'll be able to change the world. As we sit here together as a class for one last time, I hope you recognize how far you've all come. You should be proud of yourselves and of your peers. You made it through a difficult time, and I'm confident that you will be able to ha handle any challenge that comes your way with or without Y equals MX plus B. Within the past year, you each demonstrated what it means to be persistent, determined, and hopeful. Wherever your next adventure takes you, don't forget your roots. You will always be a Husky. Remember to say please and thank you. Cherish every moment you have because you never know when it might be the last. Be kind, stay curious, hug your loved ones, reach out and help others, Follow your dreams and become the person you want to be. You can do anything you set your mind to, or how my family might say it, si se puede. <laughs> class of 2021, thank you for letting me become your class president. It's been a pleasure. I wish only the best for each and every one of you. Congratulations.
I'm glad I always get to go before the graduates because they are definitely hard to follow as speakers. Harrison High School has a unique practice in selecting our student speakers for graduation. A group of students that have earned the SUMA designation gather in a room with faculty advisors to create a list of four to six qualities they value in a graduate of Harrison High School. They then select a committee of faculty advisors that meets and selects from among the SUMA students a speaker they believe is the embodiment of those qualities. The final step is for the SUMA students to gather one final time to decide on a speaker they want to represent the senior class. This year, our faculty selected speaker is Alexandra Gresham. Alexandra was chosen by our faculty from our SUMA based on the qualities of adaptability, engaging, altruistic, involved, ambitious, and authentic. Alexandra's school counselor, Mrs. Leong, shares that Alexandra is an international baccalaureate diploma candidate graduating with summa cum laude academic recognition. She is passionate about learning and has a natural curiosity to learn about everything she can. It is remarkable how much she is capable of accomplishing in a 24-hour day. But Alexandra sets high expectations for herself, both in and out of the classroom. And she is driven to pursue her passions and share them with others. And she does it all with such ease and poise. Above all, though, she is humbled and is never seeking recognition. Wherever Alexandra goes, her energy and enthusiasm shines and she has brightened our school community. Whether it is Alexandra as a competitive gymnast cheering and motivating her two teammates, or as co-president of our Friends of Rachel's, spreading kindness and finding ways to bring the school community together, Alexandra's dedication, empathy, and thoughtfulness permeates through everything that she does. It does not surprise, not just a surprise that her favorite quote is, be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. With a heart to help and provide opportunities to others as much as she can, no matter which career she decides to pursue, Alexandra is certain that she wants to continue to care for and help others through research and volunteer work. We at Harrison High School will miss Alexandra and we look forward to hearing all about what she does at the University of Vermont. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alexandra Gresham and this year has been by far the most eventful, exhausting, and memorable of the 13 years I've spent as a student in Harrison. But today, it feels redundant to talk to you, class of 2021, about the shortcomings of being a senior during a pandemic. Instead, I want to talk about movies. More specifically, my favorite movie. It's called About Time, and if you've never heard of it or seen it, it is about a boy named Tim. And as Tim approaches adulthood, he comes to learn that the men in his family, including himself, are able to travel back in time to different points in their own lives. Now, spoiler alert, this gives Tim a variety of advantages in life in that he can re relive his first date with his wife, he can go back and save himself from embarrassing moments, and spend more time with lost loved ones. Towards the end of this movie, Tim asks his father about the key to happiness, specifically with his ability that he and his father share. His father tells him to live each day twice over. The first time, living the day as you or I would, experiencing the typical worry and tension that comes with life. But the second time, letting go of the stress and instead noticing how incredible and sweet the world is when you are focused on living in the present. After following his father's advice for an amount of time, Tim stops time traveling at all. He simply lives noticing the small things about each day that are sweet and gentle about life itself rather than only appreciating life because of this extraordinary ability. The first time I watched this movie, I spent days thinking about all the things I would go back and change about my life if I could go back in time and thinking how if I could just go back, maybe my whole life would be different, better even. But the second time around, I realized that the purpose of this movie was completely the opposite. You see, Tim has this realization that he doesn't need to go back in time to live a beautiful and happy life. But his perspective on his ordinary life 
is what makes it so extraordinary. Life is not meant to be spent waiting, and time is not meant to be wasted. As we walk across this stage today and begin the rest of our lives, I urge you all to live passionately, to let love guide you instead of money, picking a major or career path that leaves you wishing for Mondays instead of Saturdays. Because the funny thing about time is that it runs out a second before you're ready, and the next four years will fly by just as the last four have. Live without regrets, because unfortunately, we are not living in a British rom-com and can't turn back time. Remember your roots, but live in the present, acknowledging the future. Define your own successes and be proud of every step that you take towards your goals. Treat every day as an opportunity for change and the first day of the rest of your life. Remember the people that have helped you to get here today and take all the chances you can to be a mentor and a friend. Love hard and love often. I'm so proud of each and every one of you for being here today, no matter what plans you have for the future or what your GPA is looking like right now. You are all so deserving of finding exactly what you are looking for in life, and that may present itself in the most unconventional of ways. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you. Well, as I mentioned earlier, and by the way, thank you, Alexandra. As I mentioned earlier, our second speaker for graduation is selected by our SUMA students. This year's student selected speaker is Tanner Purdy. Tanner's school counselor, Mrs. Hayen, shares that Tanner transferred to Harrison High School from Ossining High School at the beginning of his junior year. While mid-high school transitions can be very challenging for students, Tanner has handled his quite well as he has become a positive and contributing member of our school community. Tanner leaves Harrison High School with a cum laude graduation honor reflecting both his academic achievement and consistent exposure to a rigorous course of study throughout high school. Tanner will attend Monmouth University in the fall and will focus on the social sciences. Tanner has excellent communication skills and is a lovely conversationalist. He can and will use these traits to serve him well in any area he chooses to focus on. Tanner's extracurricular involvements in the FBI and WCPD Police Explorers program have given him the opportunity to pursue what he loves while serving his community, the perfect combination for Tanner. He continues to work as a waiter in a local restaurant to not only earn money, but to also learn about the inner workings of a business and to exercise his communication skills with the public. This is typical for Tanner, making all of his endeavors learning experiences. Tanner has strong interest in history, business, and criminal justice, and a strong belief that the only way to fix a system is to become a part of it and be the change. We are proud of Tanner's mature thinking and his desire to have a positive impact on his community in the future as he has here within the Harrison High School community. Thank you, Tanner. All right. Good evening. Good evening, Superintendent Wool, Principal Bukema, high school administrators, faculty and staff, students, parents, and family, and all those joining us virtually from near or afar. My name is Tanner Purdy, and I have the privilege of being this year's student selected speaker. I'd like to begin by thanking those academically distinguished students responsible for my selection and all those who have made this evening's event possible. It has been a long and winding journey for the class of 2021. Nonetheless, we've done it. As we sit here today, our high school careers are coming to a close right before our very own eyes. The next chapter lies ahead of us. And looking back on our years here at Harrison High School, I am confident in saying that we stand ready for whatever challenges we face in this new chapter of our lives. High school was not an easy journey, a time for us to make new experiences and memories that will last a lifetime. Freshman year was a run forward when we had just mastered walking. Sophomore year was a year of discovery. It was all the more familiar, but with different people and new opportunities everywhere we looked. Junior year began with the stark realization that college and our senior year were just around the corner. As seniors, we became the quote-unquote upperclassmen, 
the leaders and role models for the younger grades here at Harrison High School. Our final year serves as the catalyst for the development of new ambitions and goals for our first year of college or whatever else lies ahead. Throughout high school, we took chances and experienced change. We took chances with our grades and extracurricular activities. We took chances socially by branching out and creating new friendships or strengthening bonds. We've experienced conflict, left our comfort zones, and we've all experienced growth. One thing is certain. We would not be where we are today without help and support along the way. The knowledge that we hold today is credit that we owe to all of our teachers who taught us curriculum inside the classroom and valuable life lessons outside of it. All the paths we've took, all the decisions we've made, all have helped us realize who we were and who we wanted to be. We, were, we learned not to follow in footsteps but to create our own. High school was a time to discover how to stand up for ourselves. And finding yourself in the midst to see of so many groups, friendships, and relationships was a tough lesson to learn and even harder to go to gain. Nonetheless, we stand here today as our own individuals. Now, for those of you who don't know me, this is only my second year here at Harrison High School. In my short time with the Husky community, I've been overwhelmed by a sense of unity and pride amongst my peers. I came from a school district that had no mascot a school district that struggled to find its identity like a freshman on their first day of high school. At first glance, I believe switching schools was a curse. However, relocating to Harrison and joining the Husky community was indeed a blessing in disguise as it ushered in a new era of self-invention. My new peers and teachers welcomed me with open arms and open hearts. Harrison High School offered challenging IB courses in which I excelled, new friends that welcomed me like family, and an environment where I felt comfortable forming my identity. I am proud to include the traits of a Harrison Husky in my resume. A Husky is loyal, intelligent, outgoing, friendly, and stands sentinel in its daily life. Huskies walk with confidence and live without holding back. The class of 2021 is resilient and embodies everything it means to be a Harrison Husky. Our motto is an ode to that of the great state of New York. Excelsior, Latin forever upward. The class of 2021 knows no such thing as regression. We know progress because that's all we choose. When we engage the complex world around us, we carry the traits of a Harrison Husky with us. We have battled a pandemic, economic turmoil, social unrest, and in some cases, family tragedy. We have adapted to new forms of learning, the blink of an eye. We have seen the beginnings of a modern civil rights movement. Ladies and gentlemen, I would remind you that we are standing on the grounds of an exemplary public institution that is nationally ranked. And to my fellow students, let me remind you that we are graduating as pioneers who have conquered the newest educational frontier that is virtual learning. The class of 2021 is unified under the traits of the esteemed Husky character and will now march through life with the traits that are wildly successful. May this graduating class be endowed with good fortune as we begin this chapter of our lives. Thank you for your time this evening and to all those who have made our years here at Harrison High School so memorable. Once again, a round of applause and congratulations to the class of 2021. And thank you to our three speakers. You have represented your class well. Well, class of 2021, I feel that we have lived three school years in this one year, and our journey has been so long, yet our time has been so short together. In a year that I honestly couldn't wait to end, now it is ending much too quickly. While we may not be ready to say goodbye, I do know from our time together that you as a class are ready and prepared for what lays ahead. So with that, Dr. Wool, I have reviewed all of the credentials of the class of 2021, and they have all met the criteria under New York State Education Law to receive their diplomas. So at this time, I am both pleased and proud to present to you the Superintendent of Schools, Harrison High School's Class of 2021.
Hello, everybody. I never thought we'd get here. But I can see your faces, and I'm happy that I can. I know you've heard a lot of speeches, but you owe me some time because I'm the only person in the room that's been to every single concert that they have ever performed in, every play that they've ever performed in. So I think I deserve a round of applause for putting up with that. I will confess, I never went to the recorder concerts. If you think your kids can play the recorder, get some help. So the fog comes on little cat feet. Carl Sandburg. Kind of like a cat sneaks in and you don't know it. That's kind of what happened to us. This invisible enemy slowly crept into our lives. I never saw it coming. And we've talked a lot about what you've lost and your, some of your classmates have talked about what you've gained. I want to try to help you navigate the world you're inheriting because frankly the adults in charge haven't done such a good job. It was magical, right? It turned toilet paper to gold which was a pretty good trick. Um, socially distant didn't mean you were awkward at a party, but if you picked the wrong seat in class, you could be sent to quarantine hell. And I watched, we can smile about it now, but I, can watch, I watched some of you lose weeks of those few seasons that you had because you sat in the wrong seat. You lost family celebrations, you lost time with friends, performances, I didn't get to see any in person in your 11th or 12th grade year. Most of you didn't get to do college visits. We did get some athletics in. But everything that I had hoped for you, quite honestly, was ripped away. It's not what I wished for you. But what for me is difficult for you to see is that you have been bestowed in these moments with some extraordinary gifts and some extraordinary powers. You may not have discovered them yet, and I don't know if you'll use them. COVID stripped us bare. It made us in some ways all more the same. It called for us to look at ourselves in ways we had never looked at ourselves before. And we looked at other people in ways that we had never ever looked before. It helped me think about what was truly essential. You know, I had a very difficult year. Virtually every decision I made was second guessed. But I'm going to tell you a secret. The only thing that kept me up at night was what you were losing. People wanted me to get kindergartners back to school as fast as I could. But I felt like you. This senior class needed my attention more than anything else for everything you had given up as juniors and seniors. So if there was a burden that was heaviest on my heart, it was you. And it, it informed everything that I tried to do. We saw a vision of the world heretofore maybe we missed. And sometimes we don't see what's in front of us. Do you remember the beginning of the pandemic? I remember it well. I looked in the faces of teachers and they were afraid to come to school. I looked at teachers who were about to have babies, afraid that if they came to work, they might be damaging their child. Those fears were real. Everything was unknown to me and to you. And then I noticed something else. The ordinary people in our lives suddenly became essential. The Walmart worker, the grocery store clerk, the person who pumps your gas. They had no choice. They didn't have the luxury of hiding out where we did with technology and Uber Eats. They had to go to work unknown what was at stake, what they might lose. And if we were smart, if we were accepting this gift from COVID, which stripped bare who we are, we noticed. We noticed the people we often took for granted, just like the story 
of Pina and what it meant for you to recognize her as important in your life. What's essential? Who's essential? Those are the questions that COVID helped us find. And we learned that the world is filled with poverty. And poverty makes pandemics even harder. There are some among our class that live below the poverty level, that became homeless, that struggled for food, right in our midst. They were always right there. COVID forced us to look, and for that we should be thankful. But we don't agree on much. Science, not a miracle, gave us a vaccine. In my lifetime, a vaccine has wiped out polio. It's cl uh, cleared malaria from the world. Smallpox. Other nations would die to have an opportunity to be vaccinated and keep each other safe. We found a way to argue about it. Sometimes what we fail to see is what we truly have. And there are no simple answers, but here's what I want to remind you of. Throughout this pandemic, everybody has given me advice. Some of it good, some of it patently bizarre. My job, my only job, was to keep you safe. What do we do with conflicting truths? It's almost if we, as if we think these brilliant young people, and they are brilliant, can't hold two opposing ideas in their head. It's as if we've taught them, choose a side. I love America. I come from a gigantic Italian family. My mom is one of 15 kids. I have 63 first cousins on one side. Every one of my uncles served in the armed forces. I'm proud to be an American. That doesn't mean we should be done. We know that we have to pursue a more perfect union, and yet we teach our kids that these are oppositional ideas. I love the Harrison Police Department. They're essential to helping me keep kids safe. I can love and respect our police and still care deeply about black and brown people having social justice. These are not conflicting ideas. And when we... My dad was a gun owner. I've watched many school shootings. If you know anything about me, you know I've written a position paper on this. You can be in favor of the Second Amendment and still want reasonable gun control. You can wear a mask. You can be vaccinated and still be in favor of other people having the right to choose. The pandemic made something explicit in your life, I hope. That we are inextricably linked. That your behavior affects my behavior. My behavior and my choices has an impact on your life. Let me give you an example. Ms. Bukema just told you about the process we use to select the speakers. In most high schools, you're separated by a fraction of a point. A ridiculously meaningless statistic. We chose to let you all work as hard as you can to achieve the honors within your reach. And then the system we put in place didn't say some are better than others. It gave the choice back to the class to say, what are the values that represent who you are? Where are my SUMA kids? Stand up for me for a minute. I'm so proud of you. Stand up. Stay standing. I'm not proud just because of your academic extraordinary accomplishments. You know why I'm proud? Because you took the time, you're the second class in history, to pick a student not from within your group, but one that truly reflected your values. You have made us so proud. Thank you. 
And how have my choices changed you? You are truly mine. This is my 20th year as superintendent. This is my 139th graduation speech. I have watched everything that you have done, but I made some decisions that are board supported that changed your life and you probably didn't notice. And that's okay. But today you need to notice. Nobody had to fight their way into an honors program. Nobody was judged by a fraction of the point. It was your parents and you, with the support of your teachers, that said, follow the path that makes you happy, that inspires you. Maybe you didn't notice. That's not the same in every high school. Maybe you didn't notice that our Board of Education decided long ago to pay for everybody's tests because nobody should be denied an opportunity because of where they began in life. My dad was a taxi driver. He ultimately became a teamster and getting a union job changed his life and moved him into the middle class. We see you all as precious. Some people like me now. I'm gonna tell you a story. And this is a story that changed my life. Back in 2003 or four, we were a low performing high school. You didn't get smarter, we did. We finally gave you the chance you deserved. And when I decided to open the doors to lots of kids, a group of seniors came to the Board of Education and said, fire Dr. Wool. And they held a meeting. And they brought a lot of kids together. You know how people, sort of a mob mentality. And I went to the meeting. And I let them say whatever they wanted to say. And then one strange thing happened. One of the, then it wasn't summa, it was valedictorian salutatorian. One of the high performing kids said, you ruined our AP classes, Dr. Wool. Those kids don't belong there. And one of the other boys who had come to attack me suddenly said, looked up at her. I'll never forget this moment. And he said, I think you're talking about me. And of course she was. And this is my point. When you choose sides, you don't see the people. Because as soon as she realized her behavior was denying opportunity to another human being, her heart shifted. Your work, boys and girls, is not to choose sides. It's to listen. Honestly, openly, with an open heart. I've learned as much from the people who disagree with me as those who do. And while I appreciate the idea that some people have no regrets, I have one. When you wish for things, you know, we often wish for a new iPhone, a great graduation party. If I could give you back one thing, I would give you back all those games you missed, all those plays I didn't get to see, but I can't. So instead, I'm trying to give you the best thing I have, which is truly see. Look at the people in front of you. Understand that not everybody has the same road. And that when we lift each other up, we truly make a difference. Ordinary acts of love and kindness change the world. My choices, this board's choices, your parents' choices change everything. Your care for one another changes everything. In my mind, you have sacrificed the most and you have accomplished the most. You are an extraordinary class and you will live in my heart forever. Please go forth transformed and perform acts of love and hope. Congratulations on your graduation. And it is that time. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage or side stage. I gotta accept them first. Oh, sorry. You forgot. I did forget. She's emotionally overcome. <laughs> and now it is the time to forever be transformed from the senior class of 2021 to the graduates of 2021. By the time you reach the other side of the stage, you'll be an alumni. 
And so, having been presented by the class of princ by Principal Bukema, and I've verified the credentials of each of you, I attest that the members of this class have met the standards, regulations, and policies established by the New York State Department of Education, the New York State Board of Education, the Harrison Board of Education, and by the authority vested in me in the Board of Regents and the Commissioner of Education. I hereby publicly and officially certify that the members of the class of 2021 are eligible on this day, June 25th, right here on the Harrison High School varsity baseball field to receive a diploma signed by the principal, the president of the Board of Education, and the superintendent of schools that forever signify them as the unforgettable class of 2021. <laughs> Now I would like to welcome Assistant Principals Lori Griffo and Larry Mastroda for the reading of the graduates' names as they are presented their diplomas. Caroline Alvarado. Tanner Joseph Purdy. Alexandra Gresham. Mia Altamuro. Aiko Alvarez. Tristan Sungmin on Omar Anasco Rebecca Lauren Anderson Samantha Andrews Lillian Applebaum Victor W. Arcara Leah Aslanian Roya Tara Azar Daniel Arthur Bear Haley Robin Bayo
Catherine Marie Buchamps. Mladen Belja. Sophia Rose Bell. Anna Abreu. Angelina Bologna. Asafe Martins Brandau. Tyler Alexis Burden. Nina Burkouts. Alexa Burko. Sebastian David Calzolano. Charlie Spencer Cannell. Chris Cano. Allison Jacqueline Caparelli. Elizabeth Caraliano. Joseph Cardesha. John Robert Carpino. Vanessa Carrillo. Joel Casaverde. Deanna Cassano. Nazareth Castro.
Melanie Ludena. Joseph Seglio. Christy Chavez Ayala. Jackie Alexandra Chi. James Choi. Thomas Jake Chiffon. Isabella Rose Cipriano. Daniel Cochran. Katie Cole. Nicholas John Colotti. Giovanna Alessandra Columna. Joseph Cortez. Austin John Corvino. Gaetano Sabino. Cosmo. Victor Joseph Cattini. David Earl Cross. David Crozier. Dominic Krupe. Bianca Cupaiolo. Giovanni Cutri. Lucia Nicole Dayer.
Cooper Samuel Danzig. Olivia Anna DeBald. Anthony Gerard DeSina. Vito Amadeo DeFonts. Sean De La Rosa. William DeLuca. Juliana Marie DiCostanzo. Gianna Antonella Di Marino. Maria Cristina De Russo. Elisa Marie Duhan. Chikama Nelly Ekachuku. <laughs> Layla Elazizi. <laughs> Ashley Espinel. Trinity Giovanna Bay. Arwin Fernandez O'Brien. Jeremiah Ferreira. Elise Helen Fiery. Carlos Figueroa. Peter Fisher. <laughs> Bailey Fisher. <laughs> Paulina Flores.
Daniela Brioli. Helena Freisdotter. Angelina Buka. Marley Gans. Christina Garitano. Peyton Jade Gartner. Parker Gibbons. Elizabeth Geraldo. Brendan Giddings. Joey Jelli. Ava Jokai. Alexandra Lily Glazer. Amelia Emilio Gomez <laughs> Muru Guja Gomez Joshua Gomez Cruz. Diego Rodrigo Gonzalez. Mihael Grandes. Aaron Greif. Connor Griff. David Griff. Rachel Ann Griff. Beth. 
Benjamin Russell Gruthius. Brandon Spencer Gruthius. Amy Marie Guerrero. Beatrice Grace Garino. Giancarlo Joseph Garino. Luca Rudy Garino. Alan Guzman. Cheryl Guzman. Reed Jonathan Hakeem. Aiden Hansen. Joseph Daniel Harrison. Olan Hassan Ramai. Hope Lindsay Hessler. Tamaki Hieda. Yusuke Hieda. Yu Hijia. Nicholas Yanakino. Faith Trinity Ildefonso. Yuki Inoue. Larissa Nikki Iraj. Erica Jacobson. Sam Jamshidi Nori.
Jamar Jarrett. Olivia Suvea Johansson. Josiah Johnson. Tyler Joseph. Casey Luke Juddelson. Claire Marie Jurgens. Anthony Wonjin Kang. Jillian Kaplan. Hannah Danielle Karkut. Alexandra Brooke Karofsky. Ellie Tyler Karofsky. Yuki Kawabata. Megan Kiefer. Wyatt J. Keller. Allison Kenny. Liam Ryan Keo <laughs> Beck Zacharias Carriage <laughs> Scarlet Willow Carriage Nima Kodika. Rina Kitagawa. Dylan Gabrielle Cohn. Sierra Marie Kretzmer. Marius Andrew Kolka.
Mackenzie Lador. Madison Page Landsberg. Jessica Allison Leckart. Allison B. Layton. Hannah Morgan Lubowitz. Nicholas Simon Lucas. Brendan Lucy. Brandon Tyler Lum. Matthew David Lestrino. Mildred Abigail Maldonado. Sydney Elizabeth Mallon. John Patrick Leo Mangan. Alessia Manzella. Samantha Nicole Morano. Brian Marcou. Drake Thomas Martin. Val McCoy. Cameron John McLean. James Alexander McLean. Anton McSweeney. Isabella Medina. Ariba Mahmood.
Stephanie Mejia. Bernice Mendoza. Julia Doris Moroli. Trevor Myler. Erica Mia Miller. Kirk James Jaway Miller. Maria Gabriela Molero. Aaron Lewis Montanez. Kyle Joseph Moretzky. Shane Anthony Muir. Reese Malahi. Caroline Elizabeth Morabito. Rosan Awad Mustafa. Natsua Mutaguchi. Emmanuel Nolan. Sophia Christina Napolitano. Carson Thomas Neal. Ariana Rose Nero. Sonali Samit Nicola. Gabriela Marie Nunez. Yuricio Ochi. Tochi Owansana. Leonard Orilana. Yoshino. 
Yoshino Oya. Vincenzo Pagnotta. Anthony Palatucci. Julina Francesco Peruta. Joe Pacora. Vanessa Perez Capture. Olivia Perini. Tristan Julius Perito. William Paul Petrillo. Jack Thomas Petrocello. Kevin Pico. Madeline Perello. David Charles Pizzatello. Donald Henry Pizzatello the third. Molly Potkin. Matteo David Percino. Samuel Blake Potashnik. Andrea Noel Ragusa. Lorena Regina Ramirez. Joey Retta. Alicia Reynoso. Kimberly Jasmine Reyes. Jackson Regano.
Mallow Ryu. Brianna Haley Rodriguez. Andres Rodriguez. Vladimir Marcelo Rosales. Alexander Sutton Rose. Jamie Lynn Roselle. Mateo Ruffalo. Lillian Marie Russo. Molly Ryan. Jade Sakamano. Maria Sayas. Gabriel Salvatierra. Jamie Marie Santamenico. Joseph Fulvio Santarelli. Emma Santizo. Brianna Sage. Olivia Sage. Madison Shiro. Jonah Schultz. Jillian Schwartz. Madison Scully. Risa Sito. Angela Maria Scobo.
Nell Shapiro. Matthew Siegel. Dylan Silber. Laís Siqueira. Peter Vladimir Sikolsky. Christian Spadini. Peter Sposato. Vincent Spoto. Madison Stagg. Jason Staltieri. Nia Michelle Stevenson. Benjamin Lewis Stevenson. Troy Lucas Strauss. Michael Khan Sullivan. Michael Tolvi. Martin Torales. Ryan McKee Tojour. Yuricio Sugimoto. Madison Avery Tuminaro. Clyde C.J. Tummings III. Lillian Romena Yubida Ferreira. David Ueda. Richard Lewis Ura.
Alicia Unterreiner. Joseph Voss. Brittany Michelle Venegas. Harrison Villanueva. Alexander Virouette. <laughs> Kenneth Viveros. <laughs> Jennifer Vukel. Lucilia Weisberg. <laughs> Destiny Gabrielle Walker. <laughs> Sean Patrick Walther. Ethan Whitaker. Jillian Williams. Anna Wolverton. Rebecca Young. Angela Zazarino. officers if they could join me on stage we are about to do our tassel exchange and our cap toss getting photographed back to their seats. Good. All right. Are we ready? Seniors, on the count of three, please move your tassel from right to left. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2021. during the recession of our graduates. 
Graduates will meet their guests in attendance on the patio outside of the gymnasium behind me where our graduates will pick up their actual diplomas and other awards at the table on the patio. I would also invite our guests to take the seat numbers off your chairs to place in your program as a memento. It also helps our custodial staff who need to have each sticker removed before the return of the chairs. And can I get one last round of applause as we lead our class of 2021, now graduates in the recessional. All right, if you guys could lead your class off the stage.